All right, here we are in its maiden day for our Titanic. We're gonna be taking it out on uh, this local lake right here, which, which has like a little nice walk up beach and an easy place to launch. Got my crew on hand. I've ballasted the model using actually these little, um, they're, they're, they're rim balancing for auto automobiles. They came in this neat little pack, uh, CK Auto, I found them on Amazon and there's two packs in the hull right now. I ordered three and each packs about 3.7 pounds to give you an idea of the amount of weight. So there's 7.4 pounds of ballast sitting in here and they have these little self-adhesive tapes on it and it's you know allowed me to keep that center of gravity nice and low and just wait out the hull. So the first maiden voyage. That's right. So we're oh, in the northern Atlantic with no icebergs. No icebergs today. No icebergs today. So we're gonna Get this thing plugged up, do our range checks, make sure that we get our transmit and receive at the expected distances so I don't lose the model halfway across the lake because uh, it would be cold to go for a swim. And then uh, we'll see how this goes. It's a little windy, but it shouldn't be too bad today. We'll stay on the lee side of this lake. How are we doing? <laughs> there we go, looking pretty good. Nice. That would be kind of neat. She looks good on the water. Yeah. <laughs> Scaly water. So just an FYI for the folks watching, to get it to turn, you need to have the propellers turn it. So you need a thrust and rudder combo, otherwise it doesn't turn. There's no flow across the rudder. And it's actually similar to the real ship. No flow across the rudder, ship don't turn. There you go, looking good, Alex. Nice, driving it nice and scale, dude, nice. Not like 80 miles per hour. Yeah. I know you want to do that. Alright, now when you straighten her out here, give her a little rip. Give her a little speed just so people can see. There you go. Now that's Titanic at about 60 knots. Okay. <laughs> Good job, dude. Can you give us a nice close pass? Yeah, sure. Alright, Captain. Bring her in. Don't run aground now. This is your moment. Nice day out on the lake too, nice and calm. Yeah, last time the wind's absolutely crazy. Yeah. Here we go, bring her in nice and scale. Kind of like 10 minutes, 15 minutes in. Nice and scale, dude. Looking good, slow her down. Nice. Nice, dude. Looking good. Nice job, Alex. You are a good pilot, dude. Yeah, she looks great. So we got about 7.4 pounds of weight in her. Um, just a Velcro spot for the battery because I, I used the battery actually to trim it perfect left and right. And I, and I found the sweet spot with the weight that I have on it. And she sits really nice and pretty in the water. She looks really, really good. Even make her go back yeah, I see that. There you go. She has a lot of force power. And we did a range test just so you guys know what this uh, this transmitter we have here. We tested to make sure we had response to our controls about easily 300 uh, football field away from the model. So, and th there was no interruption in connection. So I didn't go to see. I didn't go out as far to see where I lose 
my uh, conductivity with the model, but there's plenty of control to take it out in the lake. There's probably like by those swans over there. Well, we're not going to mess if with the swans. They ground and <laughs> they well, the swans uh, would be like a Godzilla attack if they feel threatened. Uh, they would take. Those are actually geese, my friend. Swans are white, but they would mess that boat right up. We tell you. I saw a swan over there at the other lake. A little, little bit of wind right there. You can see the wind will rock it when it hits it broad, but it comes right back. So, yeah, Alex, you did a great job, dude. Good pilot. I like this thing. Good. I'm glad you like it. It's relaxing. Different type of hobby. All right. Well, we'll get this up so everyone can enjoy it. it might take us 50 minutes to upload. <laughs> There is Titanic now at a speed of about 45 to 50 miles per hour. <laughs> we try and drive at scale, but it does whip around. It's got plenty of power, but it looks good just gracefully gliding along, we making a nice wake. This Yamato video. Uh, yeah, I know. We got to take the Yamato out after we get our ballast. Yeah, and besides, it's doesn't. It's not as popular as this video. So. You don't think so? No. I it's think. It's got like 12,000. That one's got like. No, it takes some time, dude. The Titanic's a more popular ship. It is. It is definitely a more popular ship. Even now, Yamato just sank. <laughs> Titanic sank too, but Yamato's sinking was more devastating. You think? And, yeah. Running huh? into an iceberg. Okay, some scratches on the side. <laughs> some significant flooding. Not magazine explosion on. B turret. Yeah. <laughs> Some ship flipping over and breaking itself in half. <laughs> All right, that everybody. Well, well hope, you in, in half. hope you enjoy it. This is the Bancroft 1200 scale Titanic, a beautiful model available at Motion RC. She really is nice in the water. Slow her down there a little bit, Dragon. All right. Did you just call me Dragon? <laughs> okay, buddy.